If you were like me, you're a person that pulled on Furina and you just wanted a simple copy C0 but ended up pulling one too many times. And after that, you're like, oops, I suddenly got a 5 star. Hopefully, I can win the 50-50 and boom, you did. Not once, but twice. And if you are that individual, this video is for you. The question is, is C2 Fiorina any good? Let's find out. I don't believe what happened myself. I was just rolling for Fiorina, getting my constellation zero, and I just decided, hey, I'm gonna go for the weapon. I got the weapon. I don't believe how lucky I got. Right after that, I pulled 20. 20 pulls. I got her early. Constellation one, Fiorina. That already blew my mind. And I was going to do a little test using the R1 of the weapon, using Furina C0, and then using her at C1, just to see the difference, right? That's why I didn't activate any of her constellations. But then I decided, hey, why not go for one more 10? I had zero, I had zero. So I collected a little bit from the event. I did a little bit of the daily commission stuff. I have constellation two Furina because I pulled one more time. 10 pulls. To be honest, I was hoping for a Fury for a Dea. I, st I still don't have Dea. I actually don't. And um, I still want Dea. I have a little bit of artifacts here. They're not the greatest of all time. Her HP is so average. But this C2 actually saved. 2 is a massive jump. And we're going to be testing that out. Put it. And then we're going to be trying out C1 Fiorina to see if that makes any difference. And then we're going to go all the way. E2 and see how much more of a difference it makes because I know C2 is big. All right, so I have not really been taking the spiral bit seriously at all, especially because I haven't been playing this game at all in the past. I don't know how many months. We have, I think, 34 stars, and that's after like two runs. So, I mean, that's pretty okay. I, I don't really know anything. I haven't really built a lot of my Dendro characters. I don't know. Okay, and now we're going to be trying out a an interesting team here. I have no idea what to put on the second half. It doesn't really matter since we're only trying out the first half. Okay, so here's the thing. This is actually a really good ability to get Furina's thing up, right? But I think just so I can manage expectations here, I'll get the character elemental burst damage plus 20%. So you guys need to keep that in mind as well. Boom. And we go straight into it. I think the rotation is press E, press Q, and then with Gene, E, and then Q. And then the rest can just play as you would normally. And, oh, I did not mean to switch to Purina. Because I did that, um, I'm pretty sure her little buff from her artifacts get kind of diminished. I don't particularly know how effective it is. I keep forgetting to press EQ and do my roll afterwards. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a learn here. I'll, I'll tell you that much. Alright, E, and then Q. E, and then Q. Alright, that was a good rotation. I'm pretty sure that was almost perfect. You guys can see the damage, you know, it's pretty okay. I feel like it's average, right? Not the greatest arena, not the greatest, you know, rest of the team, but it still is working out pretty well. We're in, we're in line with time here. Do a little bit of this. Boom. Do a little bit of that. And switch back to Gene so we can get full on the proc. There we go. Okay. E. You. Boom. 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 Ow. Oh, that hurt. I hurt so much. Wait, did he die? He died! Wait, are we actually destroying this? That's not even that great. I don't know. But... Um, yeah, we're pretty much done. I think it was okay. It wasn't the greatest of all. Yeah, we definitely need a little bit more talent on her. As well as on Yelan. Alright, so we are activating our C1. This will allow her to get a little bit more fanfare by over 100. As well as, as soon as you activate the burst, to get 150 instant fanfare. Okay, I have to try C1 one more time. Because I feel like I didn't do it justice the last time. Alright. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm I didn't think that would happen. 
And I switched to Trina. Okay, my, my rotations are working out how I want them to right now. But it'll be good. Oh, did you 30k? Yo, that, that's actually good. Alright. B. Two. Two. Hello? Where are you at? Okay. The rotation should be awful right now. Okay, I just need to get rid of this guy. I have enough against these guys. Alright. E. Two. Boom. 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 Okay, let's see this. Ooh. Okay, I wanted to avoid that one. I suppose we can really do that. Do. Ow. There we go. That's massive. Okay. That was pretty good. Was it faster? I don't know the moment we've all been waiting for. C2. Urena. Boom. And go back. Has been activated. These are my stats. My stats aren't the most amazing thing in the entire planet. They're just not. Currently, these are how they look right now. Crit rate at 50. Damage at 50. This sucks. This sucks a lot. But, um, I haven't really done a lot of farming for my artifacts but once i once i do once it improves a little bit um i'll go straight in. m1 i'm going to e i'm going to q i'm going to e i'm going to q all right we're stacking some fans we're stacking some fans boom boom all right let's see how it does let's see 34k i see 34 50 what Wait. Wait, that's insane. Okay. It's a word, it's not proxy. Uh, I don't know what happened. I hit 44,000 man. D. Q. D. Okay, never mind. Q, so we don't die. It's a 36. 15! Oh my god. Cool. Alright, I mean, we saw what we needed to see there. Yalon is getting a damage buff. Jingcho is getting a damage buff. And they're getting an insane buff too. Because Furina's HP is in keeps getting increased with each fanfare point, right? It is so much faster to get it. Especially because you once you ult, you have 150. Not to mention, this is pretty much multiplied by 250% because of C2. You get that buff so quick and it just gives it gives you this so easily i'm i'm almost at a state of shock how good this is to be honest a c0 to c2 is a massive jump but not to mention at c0 she's perfectly fine i use her she was perfectly fine perfectly strong and um, all I need to do is probably level up a little bit of her talents and I get the 36 star easily. But now that I have this, probably going to be way easier to get that 36 star. It's going to be faster and quicker. Oh wow, am I impressed with C2 Furina? That changed 
pretty much her entire kit. The only difference this would make is if I went to C6 and then she becomes this paragraph. I'm assuming she just becomes this a DPS character. But that's pretty much it. That is my Fiorina. Not the greatest Fiorina of all time and can be improved drastically. I can always give her a little bit more HP. Get to like 40,000 and I think that's a great stop. And increase her crit damage by a lot. Because she is suffering from a lack of crit damage. Look at that. 50. My weapon is carrying her crit damage right now. So, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys got something out of that. I definitely did. That was definitely a good time. Anyways, that's gonna be it. See ya. Alright, post-edit Mars here. What I realized during that whole sporadic, chaotic, spiral abyss session was that because of her constellation 2, I have to get points above the limit to get her 140% increase in HP. Now, in order for me to actually make use of this, my actual healer needs to be very powerful. Now, my gene is very good, excellent healing, but what I need my gene to do is have just a tad bit more healing so that the healing overflows. And if the healing overflows, you can make use of this talent. Now, this will increase party members' HP by 2% of their max HP every 2 seconds for the next 4 seconds, which means maximum 4%. Not the biggest thing ever. But why this makes sense to me after doing all of that is because I wasn't getting this buff. I wasn't getting enough to make it over the 140 to make it to the 140%, which is unfortunate, but... Because of the change up and down, you could reach that with a better healer. Just a slight, just a little slight better healing. So instead of going for a crit rate mask or something like that, I could go for a healing bonus one. And that would improve my gene just the slightest bit. But that also means my full bonus is going to be harder to proc. So I do really need to improve my gene in order for my Furina to improve as well. And I do realize that. So maybe in the future, I could... Uh, with my gene build if not she was still really good i was doing 50k with the big boy 30k with the smaller one and 16k with the even smaller one after that so all in all i'm very impressed with Fiorina, and she's just going to get even better 